everything that BoxyCharm has previewed and has shown in their sneak peeks is all in here. I can't wait to show you guys what I have. Let's get started. So this is gonna be a classic BoxyCharm unboxing with a try on. So we're gonna try all the makeup products that are here. Well, most of it at least. And so I've looked into it already. And so I kind of know what I got and what I don't have to make the full face of makeup. So I went ahead and did my foundation. I used my favorite Becca foundation, the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation, which I also got in my BoxyCharm box. Um, oh, before that for moisturizer, I used the Saturday Skin Waterfall Gr Glacier cream i haven't used this a lot it's not my favorite because it's a little sticky but i think this would be really great under makeup and then i use the ciate london coconut powder again from boxycharm use the brushes oh uh, you know what i need to do a blush i got this in my boxycharm box again a ciate london blush which is also one of my favorites this is starting to look like BoxyCharm's best hits, right? <laughs> so I use my Alamar brushes for my bronzer and blush. Also another one from BoxyCharm, my Pretty Vulgar Concealer. This is kind of like a medium coverage concealer, I would say, but it's so hydrating and cooling under the eye. This is definitely one of my faves. I just wish that it had a little bit more coverage on a day-to-day -day basis. This is a great concealer. And then for brows, again from BoxyCharm, this is the Brow Kit from Brow Bar. Let's go into my March BoxyCharm box. If you are new to BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm has three levels of membership and I just picked the base box which is the lowest level and it's around $25. It's a monthly subscription and you get up to five products in the box that are worth over $120. So when I got it in the mail, it was kind of a little crooked because there was something in here and this is by Pharmacy. I got the Very Cherry Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. So this is what it looks like and I was so excited. I was hoping to get this because I want to get into more of these melt away melting bombs for um, eye makeup removal. And also I thought pharmacy was one of the clean ingredients from Sephora. If it is, I'll put it up on the screen here. You know what this smells like? It smells like plastic. It has a nice spatula right here so you don't have to dip your hands in them which I like, so I'm so glad I have this. I mean, the only cleansing balm that I've tried so far is from Clinique, and so I'm excited to try this one. Although, I gotta say, I just watched Kathleen Light's BoxyCharm unboxing, and she said that this did not have good ingredients in okay. it. In the box, there's this pretty edgy BoxyCharm card, finally, they gave us the paper BoxyCharm card again. But I don't mind having it in a digital form as well because I feel like it's less wasteful, better for the environment. You Next know. thing that I got, and this is actually my choice, the QMS Medi Cosmetics Lip Line Corrector. Oh, by the way, the Pharmacy Beauty Very Clean Cleansing Balm. I mean, if it says clean, it has to have some good ingredients in there, right? This is $34 made specifically for BoxyCharm. And then the other one that I got is the QMS Medi Cosmetics Lip Line Corrector. It's a lip serum formulated exclusively for the upper lip area targets fine lines and wrinkles this high performance lightweight serum is specifically designed to hydrate and plump lips for a smoother youthful appearance you're not gonna believe how much this costs guys this is 15 ml and it's two hundred dollars comment down below if you've heard about this brand before i personally haven't heard about it at all it has very fancy packaging. I mean, I opened this already, so now I know how to open it, but it took me a while. I was like pulling at it. I almost broke the cover. <laughs> I never thought about getting a serum for the lips, so that's kind of interesting. So let's see. There's no smell. 
I feel scared putting this on my lips. Because I feel like, what if I end up eating it, you know? It feels exactly how a serum would feel on your face. So that's interesting. There's no tingling or plumping. It doesn't feel hydrating. Mm, I'm starting to taste it. it. has that bitter taste. I think I wish I looked this product up more, but $200. Would I purchase anything for $200? No, not on skincare. It's just not worth my money. I think there's a lot more we could do with that money especially with everything that's going on in this world right now please stay safe this virus that's going around in our country all over the world really it's a collective effort to fight this i'm wishing everyone a safe and healthy healthy weeks and months ahead and i'm just praying for everyone praying for all of us around the world that we get through this and fight this virus and pull through so i forgot really my train of thought but oh yeah i was talking about how expensive this qms product is um i'm glad i got it in my boxycharm box i'm glad i got to try it would i purchase it again no even if it reshapes my lips there is nothing that would make me want to buy this product for 200 dollars or any makeup product for that matter another thing that i got in my box is hair girt almond honey hair mask it looks so pretty it has prebiotics quinoa botanical oils and shea butter specifically formulated to help repair damage fragile and brittle hair so first you have to cleanse your hair after cleansing you can put this on wait five to ten minutes and then rinse it off it's a conditioning mask i don't know that i will use this i might put it in a giveaway so we're gonna keep it sealed right now because i am actually working on another kind of hair mask that i got from my fabfitfun box so i'm gonna save this for maybe a future giveaway Speaking of giveaways, I do have a birthday giveaway coming up. I'll be announcing it soon. So you have to be subscribed to my channel in order to enter the giveaway. Please share this video. Let your friends know. Tell them to subscribe and be on the lookout for this future birthday giveaway. March is my birthday month, but I'm very excited. This is a milestone year for me so i'm very excited about it so yeah that's all i can say so there's gonna be a future giveaway coming soon i also got the becca one becca lip liner and this is in the color history i've never really tried their lip liners before um the only product that i've tried from becca is their highlighters and blushes but not lip liners oh and then of course now i got to try the uh foundation it has a nice kind of raspberry color on me so let's see if it's gonna look good on me it's very creamy it doesn't tug this is a beautiful kind of deep raspberry color what do you guys think this is kind of like a, an everyday red for me i love this lip liner i don't use lip liners a lot but every now and then i get really excited with lip liners especially if they're the perfect color in this case we're just gonna use it as a lipstick this becca lip liner is 18 dollars it's an eight hour long wear lip liner i like that it's matte i'm a matte kind of girl this is gonna be in my top drawer for sure and the last one this is by hank and henry i knew that every charmer was gonna get either the boxy charm palette or the hank and henry palette and Part of me wanted to try Hank and Henry because Hank and Henry is a cosmetic line. I see a lot, a lot of really great makeup coming from Hank and Henry. I've actually tried their mascaras before. It's actually in my travel bag in the car. And so I use it whenever I need to do my mascara. I love it. I loved the color story for the BoxyCharm palette. So it was a toss up. I knew I was going to be happy either way. When I saw this, I was really, really excited that I got it. 
and this is what it looks like it's such a pretty packaging and here are the colors i would say this is more on the warmer side so this one is called sultry sim so let's try that i'm gonna start right here salty sim it feels really creamy it swatches a lot lighter So that's a second dip right there. This one is called the Fisha. There's no fallout, there's no kick up. So that one is called Petticock. This brown one right here is called Drag Grim Blood. Ooh, that one's really pigmented. This middle one right here looks like a deep, deep maroon. It's called Rosalinda. Ooh, I like that. I really like that too. This is my favorite color. It's swatching a little patchy. And that one is called Boy's Toy. And then the next color is Rustige. Looks like a rusty orange, yep. And then this one is like a nice gold orange. It's, this is like the driest of them all. And this is called Mariana Trench. It has like a brown undertone with a purpley blue shift to it. So those are all of the colors. And I'm going to try to do a look with this. The theme is pretty edgy on the card, so I'll try. I'll try to get out of my comfort zone. <laughs> we'll see. final look this one right here is very patchy it feels very creamy but it doesn't really stay put on the eyes i love this orange one it blends so nicely i love how it looks on the eyes um this one is also a little patchy but eventually it starts blending you just have to work really fast i love this this is like the number one color in this palette it's so matte but the color is so vibrant it shows up on the eyes exactly as it looks like on the pan this one is also very nice it's also very pigmented this orange one so i don't absolutely love it but i don't hate it at all so it's still a great palette too. let's go ahead and tally up everything that i got in my boxy charm box so i got the palette from hank and henry which was 27 dollars, and then i got the hair girt for this was ten dollars 
I got this QMS lip corrector for $200. I don't know about that. I got the Becca lip liner. This is my ultimate favorite that I got in the box and it's $18. And then of course I got the Pharmacy Very Cherry Clean Balm. Um, cleansing balm which is $34. The overall value of the box is $289. Wow. And um, I think what really cranked up the price was the uh, this QMS lip corrector. But even if this was only $100, let's say maybe it doesn't work as well. Um, this would still be like $189. So what a steal. I only paid $25 for the box. Definitely got my money's worth. I mean, I loved everything that I got in the box. Basically, when BoxyCharm was showing all of the sneak peeks, I had an idea of what I wanted in my box and they were exactly it. I got everything that I had wished for. So that is it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing slash try on slash mini review. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to this channel. If you're new here, I post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews. I'll see you back in my corner soon. Bye!